there. We're expecting a low pressure system to continue to slowly drift on just south of, uh, say, Cheyenne and North Platte. It's going to continue to drift down through, uh, say, Colorado into Kansas. And we've got some snow showers already picking up for us near Cheyenne, Wyoming. North Platte also seeing snow out there for that morning drive. But we have winter weather alerts in effect, and this is going to continue through the day on Thursday. Winter weather advisory shaded here in blue Denver under the advisory North Platte as well. Winter storm warning, Colby, northern Kansas, Selena out towards St. Joseph and Kansas City also under this winter storm warning through Thursday. And that's because, as I mentioned, much more snow expected in the forecast. So here's a look at what we're expecting, how much we can get here. So as that low pressure system drifts its way eastward, really east southeastward, a warm front is going to extend really across parts of Kansas. And it's on the northern end of that warm front that we're going to see the bullseye of most of that snow accumulation from Colby out towards Kirksville, St. Joseph, Lincoln, uh, Nebraska, North Platte, where we could see really a good swath of, say, five to eight inches of snow, but we could see in a few isolated areas up to a foot of snow. Now out towards Denver, Colorado, Colorado, where we're on the, say, northwest side of that low pressure system, we're expecting to see a general three to five inches in uh, maybe the, the suburbs out there, a little bit higher into the elevations up into the mountains where we could see close to a foot of snow in some areas as well. So good for some of those ski resorts as we're picking up more snow as we head later into the season. But it is going to bring in some travel trouble. Here's a look at our future track. So as our morning continues underway, those snow showers that we're seeing develop near Cheyenne and North Platte, they're going to continue. Look at the temperature. 7 degrees in Cheyenne, 19 in North Platte. It is very cold. Also concern with that low pressure system sitting so closely, winds are going to pick up as well. So within these areas, especially across northern Kansas, we could see winds accompany these snow showers upwards of, say, 45 to 50 miles per hour. So that's going to be the added danger if we're driving on those roadways, which hopefully we won't be. That could bring in some of that blowing snow. So we'll watch for that as well. Denver, 16 degrees as we head into the late evening. Snow shower is going to continue there. And then we are anticipating our snow to continue to fill in, especially heading into the overnight tonight and the bullseye of that storm going to push through Kansas as we head into early Thursday morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.